Yes, we see the market recovering, many stocks are performing very well, but is this enough for the market to reverse the bearish sentiment? After all, next week is going to be wild, is going to be intense, right? So what if the market collapses even further? Or what it takes for it to recover and then resume the long-term uptrend? Well, as usual, we are going to do our analysis of the market without any bias, always following the technique. No guesswork, no assumptions, no gut feelings, right? We only observe the technical evidence. Welcome or welcome back to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It's a pleasure to see you guys over here. And uh, yes, SPY, right now, mid-term speaking on the daily chart, we are maintaining the bearish bias. We just triggered a bearish pivot point, meaning we just materialized a lower high, lower low. We lost the 21-day EMA, the exponential moving average. We lost the $574 as well. So we are below our most important support levels on the daily chart. In theory, we are supposed to retest our next support level, which is the 565, which is a very important support level observed on the weekly chart. As we can see here, it was a previous top level. Now, support level, it could be a support level again. However, if we lose this key point and only if we lose 565, we could see a sharper correction materializing on the weekly chart. Then we're going to see a more problematic reaction. But uh, so far, Apparently, if you ask me, SPY is heading towards 565. Oh, Nathan, today we are going up, right? We are making a bullish candlestick right now. Yes, we are, but uh, this reaction is still not enough to reject the bearish sentiment, all right? When, uh, if, we see, if we see a bullish reaction on the weekly chart, close, closing a bullish candlestick on the weekly chart over here above the 565, then all right. Maybe we're going to see a very good meaningful bottom signal above our major long-term support level, suggesting the continuation of the uptrend. But uh, so far, we don't see any meaningful bottom signal triggered yet. All right, SPY is still in bearish territory. And in this case, 565 is our next technical target. The QQQ is also in bearish territory right now. The 21 day EMA is acting as a quite important uh, a quite important resistance level right now uh, today, right? However, today's reaction is positive. It is a bullish candlestick pattern, but again, it is still not enough. In theory, QQQ is supposed to retest 477. There is no meaningful miraculous reaction right now suggesting that we could avoid this correction, but uh, for now we should pay attention to this. 21 day EMA over here because if we break and close above it, the QQQ could resume uh, its, its long term bullish bias, retesting higher levels again, maybe the all time high again, right? But uh, the weekly chart is not that good. It is not looking that good at all because we made a bearish angle thing candlestick pattern, which only reinforces the bearish sentiment. So right now the situation is very complicated and uh, next week it is going to be even worse, right? Because we have earnings, uh, earnings, I'm so sorry. We have elections, uh, Fed meeting as well, right? So it is not going to be easy. However, the key points I just described right here are the most important ones. We should pay attention to them uh, next week. Now, NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA is, is trying to make a bullish reaction right above the 21 day EMA. This is very good because unlike SPY, unlike QQQ, this one is right now trying to maintain the price above its moving average, trying to maintain its price in bullish territory. If that's true, yesterday's reaction could be just an exhaustion bar and a possible false breakout of the moving average. It is still trying to maintain the bullish bias. We are still making higher highs, higher lows. If we actually materialize a bottom signal above this moving average, that's going to be perfect for Nvidia. However, the weekly chart is very dangerous, all right? It is very, very dangerous. We see a bearish shingle thing candlestick pattern below the all-time high area, below the 140 resistance level. That's extremely, extremely delicate because if next week 
thanks to the higher volatility, we see Nvidia losing. This week's low, we could trigger this bearish engulfing, suggesting a sharper correction to the 21 week EMA on the weekly chart. Well, of course, 21 week EMA, of course, weekly chart, all right? So we could, tr we could trigger a sharper correction to our next support level over here if this bearish engulfing gets, uh, gets triggered, all right? A bearish engulfing is, from a statistical point of view, a quite reliable bearish reversal candlestick pattern because, according to Thomas Bukowski's studies, it does reverse the trend 79% of the time. However, however, it needs to get triggered first, all right? Therefore, we should monitor this price section very, very closely and uh, this week's low is going to be its major inflection point. It is, it is going to be even more important than the 130s support level over here, which was a previous resistance level one, two, three, four, five, six times in the past, now is our major support level as well. So this key point, this whole area is going to be very, very dangerous for NVIDIA. In order to avoid a sharper correction, we need to materialize a very meaningful, nearly miraculous bullish reaction above this support level. Then, and the only then, we may see NVIDIA continuing its bullish bias. Now, guys, a very important and a quick message for you. Our mentoring program will soon be launched, where I will personally design trading and investment strategies for you, all right? For you. I will, with all my focus and dedication, analyze you and your profile, and uh, we are going to literally trade together. We're going to have one-to-one -one meetings and uh, you have ongoing support so that we can communicate at any time and we will catch the best opportunities in the market together. If you have any interest in joining our mentorship program, just take a look at our website over here and uh, leave your email right here in this field, all right? And uh, remember, spots are limited, all right? Because, because I can't handle too many people, right? So I, I'm just one person. We're gonna have individual meetings, right? So leave your email right here and soon you will be notified of our mentorship program, all right? So it is gonna be a very exclusive and uh, dedicated program. I think you guys are going to like it. Now, back to our analysis, back to our analysis, Tesla. <laughs> Tesla is, of course, it is dropping today, right? Many stocks are going up. We see SPY up, QQQ up. However, Tesla is the only one that is still clearly in bullish territory. I know it is dropping today. Yes, 0.39% right now, but still, we are above the 21 day EMA. We are clearly above the moving average, unlike Nvidia, which is struggling around its moving average. We are way above it. We are above the 242 support level. We are, we are maintaining the bullish bias, all right? As far as I know, we could drop a little bit more to retest this double support level made by the moving average and the 242. However, we need to see a bullish reaction as soon as possible above this double support level. Then, then we may see a buying opportunity, right? But uh, so far, there is none, all right? Tesla is just correcting. There is no light in the end of the tunnel. Of course, there is a, a possibility of a bullish reaction around this support level, which is going to be a very meaningful support level, right? I do, I do see this key point as a quite important one because it is not only a double support level on the daily chart, but if we take a look at the weekly chart, no, no, on the daily chart, in the, I'm so sorry, daily chart, when we use Fibonacci's retracement over here, we see that the 242 is coincidence or not, right around the 50% retracement. And uh, below this point, we have the 61.8, but uh, this key point over here, the 50% is going to be the most important one, of course, following the technical evidence right here. So let's see how Tesla is going to behave next week, especially right now that we are approaching such important support level. If we see a bullish reaction, there is the possibility of another bullish pivot point because Tesla is in bullish territory. Uptrends are made of higher highs, higher lows. So 
by making a bottom signal over here, we could trigger another bullish pivot point, breaking the previous resistance level, finally breaking the 265 for real, leaving this key point behind, retesting the $300 next. Therefore, let's see for now, let's see how Tesla is going to behave near our support level. AMD dropping, there is no hope for it, it is just collapsing. If you ask me, we are seeking our next technical support level, which is this purple trend line over here, which connects the previous bottom levels on AMD since October last year. All right, last year, since October 2022. All right, so this is going to be our next major support level. Let's see how AMD is going to react when, if we get to this point. All right, so far, no light in the end of the tunnel. We are still collapsing. Palantir. Palantir is going up nicely. It is just like Nvidia, right? Making a bullish reaction, stabilizing around its moving average. It is quite interesting because by avoiding a breakout of the $40 support level, it is going to completely reject any possibility of a bearish reversal right here, right now. And, uh, and uh, honestly, I would totally understand if we see Palantir reversing on the weekly chart because we see a bearish single thing on the weekly chart right below the $45 resistance level. If we see Palantir triggering this candlestick pattern, losing the $40 again, we could easily, easily correct all the way down to the 21 week EMA down here. Let me erase this key, these key points over here because they are just annoying right now. We could easily correct to the 21 week EMA. That's okay. It is not going to ruin the bullish bias, just like the QQQ could correct all the way down to the support line of this ascending channel and still maintain the long term bullish bias. Palantir could drop and uh, a drop to the 21 week EMA uh, means a drop of roughly almost 15, 17 percent over here. All right. It is going to be a very annoying drop, but still it would maintain the long-term bullish bias. If you don't have the stomach for it, well, observe the $40 support level, because if we lose it, then we could easily materialize a top signal on the weekly chart, and uh, we're going to materialize a bearish reversal on the daily chart as well. So far, so good. The 21-day EMA is holding the price, but uh, yeah, the $40 is going to be our major support level right now. Micron, Micron looks horrible, all right? And uh, this is one of the reasons why you should subscribe to this channel, by the way, if you are still not a subscriber, because every single day we are here talking about technical analysis, price action. This channel is the state of the art of the technical analysis, all right? Every single day, unbiased analysis, always paying attention to the technical evidence only. Without bias, without guesswork, without assumptions, without gut feelings, we just focus on the technique. So click the like button to support me as well. And remember, subscribe this channel. Otherwise, you're going to lose me forever if you just quit this video and don't subscribe. Maybe, maybe one day, one day you'll see the situation very, very complex, very annoying, even scary. And then you will see the media saying, oh, stocks are collapsing, spreading panic, etc. You will crave for an unbiased analysis of the situation. Trust me. So just subscribe right now. All right. You are welcome to our community. Now, uh, yes, Micron, Micron technology. This one is, this one is not only dropping, but it is also losing a very important support level, which is acting as a resistance level right now today by failing in reacting above the $100, which by the way, is a very interesting psychological support level, right? It is a round number, $100 by failing in reacting in this area. Micron suggests a sharper correction, possibly to the 96.18, which is an open gap. All right. It is a crystal clear open gap. And uh, remember, gaps work as magnets for the price when trends reverse, right? It is a real magnet. What's more, what's more to make matters worse, we see a possible, a possible head and shoulders chart pattern, right? Which only reinforces the bearish sentiment. Honestly, let me tell you guys, honestly, I was quite bullish on it since, since this one triggered this amazing uh, ignition bar over here on October 10. But uh, 
by a few cents, by only a few cents, it failed in reaching my personal target, all right? Right now, it is dropping, okay, I'm not gonna cry about it. It. Th this is part of the game, all right? Losses and gains are part of the game. No one has 100% accuracy all the time. Therefore, the most important thing of all is risk management. When we make money, we try to make way more than we are willing to lose in the first place. So this is this is how professional real traders work here in this market, all right? We are, we are not supposed to have 100% accuracy. Risk management is even more important than accuracy. Trust me, trust me, all right? It is way more important because let me speak by experience. There is no, there, there is no value in having a, I don't know, 90% accuracy. But when you lose money, you this single loss wipe out all of your gains, all right? It is no worth it. So just trust me, risk management is the most important thing of all. Now, as, as far as I know, Micron is about to close this gap, $96.18. And, and, uh, there is no meaningful bottom signal, no, mean, no meaningful bullish reaction suggesting otherwise. So this is it. And the SoFi, you guys love SoFi, I know it. And the, as, as far as I know, SoFi is not only maintaining the bullish bias, but if we see pullback, I'm not saying we will correct, but if we do correct, any pullback to the $10.49 could be just a harmless short-term pullback. Even if we correct to the 21-day EMA again, that's not going to harm the bullish bias, all right? Any pullback could be just another buying opportunity near a support level when the risk reward ratio is optimized. Therefore, so far there is no meaningful pullback, there is no meaningful top signal triggered. But if we do, I think so far is going to trigger, is going to offer us another buying opportunity just like Tesla, all right? Which is still in bullish territory, seeking our support levels when the risk reward ratio is optimized. So let's pay attention to these key points from now on. Remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, take a look at our website if you have any interest in joining our mentorship program. Places are limited, so just join us right now. Thank you for your audience, my dear friends. See you guys Monday. Stay safe. Bye-bye.